Some people don't do it. So on something like this profile, for example, we would, we would try to put venals in here, near the face of that moulding. Now, we probably could put a nail in here, but depending on the machine that we were using, that may or may not be possible. So certainly if you were joining that upside down with a little manual joiner at home, So, although that doesn't look very good at this stage because we've got that um, we've got that grey filler there, what we can do later on is we can either use a matte spray. You can sand this very very lightly when it's finished with a uh, a bit of fine uh, 400 grit sandpaper, and then you can spray it, or you can often come back in and use an acrylic. This, this one's a uh, screw here allows us to adjust the height of the router. So once I get it in fo focus there, I'm going to loosen it off, but I've got to just hold on to it for a sec because now I can drop this router down. And what I've got to do, I've got to put it in a position where it's going to cut into that into that frame at a place where I'd like to put the nail itself. So I'm just going to the check standard um, oil putties uh, what we would use. We actually also like, and this is something I don't know whether you guys get, um, but there is a company that makes uh, they, these ones uh, are really really good actually. Um, this is, I'm just trying to see, this is another American one, but it's uh, the Baroque Art range. These are fantastic for gold and silver, and they're, they are actually a slightly different um, putty than the wax one. They are, they are a wax base. Like when you actually put it on something, I'm going to put it onto, onto this so I can show you the colour. Um, that is actually a metallic, so you can see how that's a bit like one of those treasure gold type... Um, pastes but that will set and you can polish it up and it really works well in filling and retouching too so another little tip is using that one